there's an Indian, there's an Indian song that keeps. I I don't know. Um, my friends in every Indian um, gathering I went to, they will play this song. Is it Jingard by any chance? I have no idea. <laughs> sing, sing the chorus or the minute. Oh my God. There's one, uh, there's, it, it has a particular dance system. I don't know what that song is. I will find that song. Oh, it's Tunak Tunak! Oh my god, it's Tunak 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 they will play that oh song for them. And then they will like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, I know, I know. It's like... So you have to dance that one for us. Oh my god. <laughs>
was sort of as a child i i think i had like this cultural identity crisis growing up but then uh, thanks to my parents who are like adamantly indian i know what you're talking about they're adamantly indian so i was a uh, brought up an indian uh, i was brought up a hindu i am a hindu and um i i am definitely an indian for oh, sure okay mm. or oh, you think you are an indian mm. <laughs> there's something you told me <laughs> behind the camera <laughs> some persons say you are too brown or less oh, mm. how did you say so um one of my friends actually back in india she said uh, a couple of years ago to me that i am not brown enough to be an indian <laughs> so i was so confused when she said that initially i thought it was of the uh, it, she was talking about the color of my skin because i'm not conventionally brown uh, i i like as most people would be as in most india. people would be in india other okay. than so, uh, you know northern regions in india those people are fairer by indian standards but um, another thing she meant like it it was kind of a uh, the, the sentence had two meanings to it one is that i'm not literally brown enough to be an indian and um secondly uh, the way i was brought up wasn't conventionally uh, indian it was kind of a mix of the cultures and the places that i visited and um so that's let, that's let, let's let's, let's, let's take this conversation a bit to issues of identity mm -hmm. i mean cross nationalism migration and issues mm -hmm. around it have made it a bit you know the world is so globalized mm -hmm. that even if you're in one country you have access to other countries exactly do you still think i mean there's something like indian identity in this kind of globalized world that's one mm -hmm. and the other part is let's not make it too academic mm -hmm. but the other part is you you've lived in nigeria mm -hmm. you've lived in other places mm -hmm. you're, you're living in the united states right now how do you still maintain this singular identity of an indian if there is anything mm -hmm. as such is it a way, first of all is there a single identity of indians mm -hmm. i believe not because india in itself is so regionally diverse if you go to the north the culture in the north is entirely different from the culture in the rest of the places same with the west same with the south and same with the east i, I was it's, surprised let me yeah. just say to interrupt you i was surprised one day mm -hmm. you know i mean Naturally, if you see someone who is from India, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, this person looks like an Indian. Mm -hmm. Because there are some physical features, mm -hmm. you know, the way they look, mm -hmm. the hair and what. Mm -hmm. I saw someone who looks South Korean or Japanese mm -hmm. or Chinese. Mm -hmm. But this person is from India. Right. And I was really, really surprised. Yes. That I, it seems my geography is so bad. They're from, uh, they probably might be from the northeast region from India. We have in the northeast, um, uh, in the northeastern uh, peninsula? No, in the northeastern region of India, yeah. uh, there's like this um, area that we call the Seven Sisters of India, and it it sort of falls. Uh, it's it's culturally very vivid from the rest of the Indian subcontinent, oh, okay. and uh, even within India, people look different from each other and regionally. So it's uh, people close to the equator, like towards the south. Uh, and they are slightly darker people in the north. They are much fairer people in the northeast. Uh, they kind of look like uh, you know uh, eastern people, far eastern yeah, people. Yeah, far eastern. So it's it's kind of uh, it's it's kind of a hot pot of cultures within India. Itself. So now that takes us back to identity. When you talk about uh, when we talk about Indian identity, mm -hmm. what was that? I mean, since India itself is culturally mm -hmm. diverse, mm -hmm. so what was the Indian identity, especially from mm -hmm. the diaspora, from from you in America? Right. Indians. What? What's the identity mm. like? How do you describe who an Indian is? What are those key things? Is it religion? Mm. Is it how you they dress? Mm. Is they, they are, are there particular things, culture shock I would, I would expect if, I, mm. if I'm with an Indian? There was this uh, one uh, freedom fighter slash political leader uh, that once defined the idea of what constitutes uh, an, in, uh, a Hindu per se, someone who is born on the Indian soil and kind of identifies as a Hindu is a Hindu. So I think the same can be applied to an Indian, someone who may not be born on Indian soil, because I know a few friends of mine that are not born in India but consider themselves Indian, who I believe are either brought up by Indian families or kind of even, you know, even if they are brought up not in India, 
but in indian families there's like a cultural transfer yeah that happens so the way uh, they carry themselves the way they dress the way now again when it comes to religion india is also religiously diverse we have multiple religions among but well, if i think of religion in india i just think of hindu before i think of yes. islam before i think hmm. of christianity hmm. or any other religion that might be i know there are so many other right. religions but there's there's uh, there's hinduism there's islam there's islamism there's christianity there's buddhism there's sikhism yes so yeah, Sikh. yeah. all these religions uh, exist within the indian subcontinent but hinduism is the most prevalent one now if i uh, talk about a little history uh, of of Hinduism Hinduism wasn't a religion to begin with what was it then yeah so um um there's there's like the Persian empire there was the Persian empire to the you know southeastern side of india mm-hmm. and uh, india kind of lied under the um, indus river the indus river was known as sindh it's it's known as sindh even today in hindi and um, because the persian language did not have like an equivalent letter to s they started calling the area as hind <laughs> i see yeah so it 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 was it was the hind region uh, to the southern area of the sindh and which is why india got the name hindustan oh okay yeah stan means place and mm-hmm. hindu is derived from the word hind can you be yeah. can you be Can you be Hindu without being Indian? Of course. Mm. Of course. And I, I, now is is such a person well accepted hmm. in the Indian. Hmm. Okay. So that of course there's like a um, um so one of the main deities in Hinduism uh, Lord Vishnu and there's like a sub sub uh, subculture called the you know the Vaishnavites who believe in uh vishnu deity as their main the deity okay. yes their main god so uh, to the uh, western uh, towards the western coast of india there is the uh, there is the city of dwarka which is known as the you know known as the place where lord krishna one of the uh, reincarnations of lord vishnu grew up right so uh, that area kind of hosts a lot of non indian hindus especially from uh, areas like russia and america oh okay so there's a lot of people who aren't indian but believe in hinduism so it is very much possible to be a hindu without <laughs> yeah, I, I, i mean i know it's possible hmm. but i was more of looking at the cultural aspect of it hmm. from an indian perspective hmm. how does an indian view this group of persons who believe in hinduism but hmm. they are not indians but that's hmm. let's go back to this name i'm just wondering right. about So uh, another thing that comes to my mind when when you when we talk about this is that you know unlike Christianity and uh, Islam which uh, which you know kind of which kind of multiplied as a religion yeah. uh, through conversion uh, or you know through wars mm, through, through wars so many, conversion so, so many, many things yeah. uh, so many things to do with history and uh, mm. uh, missionary programs uh, there is no certain program in in Hinduism You just need to have. Wait, to wait, wait. Hinduism. I know uh, the basic knowledge about Hinduism. Mm-hmm. There are so many gods. Oh yes, with it's so many representations. Religions. <laughs> okay, let's let's leave Hinduism. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a huge. Uh, <laughs> it's a huge topic. Yes, it's an, an ending topic. Trying to understand every facet of every religion, and not just Hinduism. When you come to America, mm-hmm. with your, you've traveled. Mm-hmm. even from from childhood you've been traveling mm-hmm. did you this experience any cultural shock here in america uh not so much thanks to the fact that indians are spread all over the <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah so many indians are there's there. no place i've been to and i did not meet large group of indians mm-hmm. well indians are over to bigger people so <laughs> so because we constitute uh, so we have a population of 1.3 billion people okay 1.3 which is which is about 1/8 of the global population yeah, which is that's a lot huge that's a lot huge. Of people, yeah. yeah so um people who identify as indian are you know kind of 
globally spread so i did not experience much of a cultural shock given the fact that the moment i reached here uh, to the you us like, welcome to yeah, india welcome welcome <laughs> to <in> india <laughs> it's not really, it's like i wouldn't say that <laughs> welcome to india okay yeah. mini india but um i did not express a huge cultural shock given the fact that one there were a lot of indians around so i did not really feel out of place but um secondly um you know you no no matter where you are globally i think all of us to some extent have been acquainted or you know with with the american culture or at least have a concept of what, of what america, america be, yeah. can be yeah, I mean, either through hollywood either through social media whatever yeah, I mean, it may be but i had like a fair idea of what i was going to be dealing with mm. and uh, so it wasn't much of a cultural shock because i was mentally prepared to be in the us yeah, in, in the in the western uh, front of the globe so <laughs>